Hello, everybody. This is Dr. Bob DiMaria with another episode of Ask Dr. Bob. How can I help improve my gallbladder function? I have a lot of gas. Well, first you have to decide, is it really your gallbladder or is it a digestive issue when it comes to your stomach? Now, this is what I've learned. If you have food that you consume and you have digestive distress immediately, it's usually your stomach. On the other hand, if you have gas and bloating two or three hours later, it more than likely could be your gallbladder. I have also found that radishes and cucumbers, onions and garlic can create digestive gallbladder distress. I personally eat a half an apple every day, beet fiber, a medium carrot, a radish, and I've really learned that artichokes are really good for the gallbladder. You may consider having a blood test done called the OptiChem Profile, so we can look at your bilirubin. Bilirubin is just a part of the whole gallbladder liver mechanism and even your liver enzymes. People usually have gas maybe an hour or two after they're eating, bloated. They could also have pain in the right shoulder and the right knee for a gallbladder issue. It's really an excellent question. Dr. Bob, what is the best way to get rid of nail fungus? Now, it could be fingernail or toenails, but this is what I learned about nail fungus, and I actually talk about this in Dr. Bob's Guide to Prevent Surgery. One of my very first patients from 1978, I was looking at her toes, and her toenails were gone. And I looked at her, and I said, Jean, what happened to your toenails? And she said, I had a fungus on them, and they took my toenails off. So a chronic toenail fungus issue is usually a colon issue, your gut. Oftentimes you maybe have too much yeast in your body. So you can put sprays and dabs on your toes, but unless you clean up your gut, back off eating wheat and yeast products, you could have an issue for a while. I'd encourage you to get my book, Dr. Bob's Guide to Prevent Surgery and read about nail fungus and um, toenails. Dr. Bob, I have, how, I have constipation and how can I improve it? Well, I want you to know every one of you watching me right now should have at least one and preferably two bowel movements every day. There are a lot of reasons to have constipation. Number one, you wanna make sure you're eating non-starchy green vegetables and drinking water. You have to have fiber for to have peristalsis for your colon to move. Oftentimes you could have a low thyroid gland. Constipation is very common if your thyroid gland's not functioning optimally. Also, magnesium. Magnesium comes from green food. When you have enough magnesium in your body, you tend to have better bowel movement. And I know that when people don't have a bowel movement, it can be quite uncomfortable. In our practice here in Ohio and in Florida, we do spinal adjustments and oftentimes we'll let people have improved bowel function by having adjustments alone. Great questions. I'm sure it'll make a difference. I'm Dr. Bob DiMaria.